Welcome back viewers. This is the Rangatang. Now nah, we're back from the pub and or well, the <laughs> the the rest the place behind the restaurant but it turns out that um we've managed to come home and park the tractor in the garden so that's um I hope I haven't crushed too many of my me, me plants there. But it's all good. We got home, that's the main thing. We didn't drive off that whopping big bridge near the place. But um, I was at the at the pub. Or the, well, well, I, I'll have to come up with a name for it. I can't remember what I'd call it. But um, the den of iniquity it was full of smoke, and they were playing cards and all men. But um, yeah, it was great. Got stuck drinking vodka. I think I got the impression that more or less that beer was for pussies. But the, the major story to come out of our visit to town was I was trying to talk with some of the old fellas and as you know I didn't have hardly any money but I didn't worry about that as soon as I mentioned that I knew Oleg. It was, uh, yeah, drinks all around. He wasn't there, he didn't turn up but they managed to get me drunk and thought it was funny the, you know, the drunker they could get me the more they laughed. But, um, yeah, so, oh, there you go. As you can see, I think I might still be a bit pissed. Just hope there's no RBT units on the road. No, oh, well, we're going good here. Anyway, back to the story. We, um, I asked if there was anything in the silo. Apparently this stuff's been sitting here for a while and, um, yeah. You know, I went to silo, silo, and I, um, gave them the, um, universal sign which is put your finger around to your thumb and make a circle and then bounce it up and down on your nose which is the universal sign for fuck nose but um they some of them fell off their chairs hysterically wondered what I was doing and others looked at me quite quizzically so then I got out my telephone and I found out that nose is hock but I couldn't work out so I was saying hock and there was a few interpretations of fuck so what I did was I did a thrusting motion with my hands out as in you know and then oh so fucking nose so yeah obviously that's um it's now fucking nose so <laughs> that brought the house down but the thing is if there's stuff in the silo would be a good time to sell it and as you can see we've just had a look and we've got a little bit of wheat so I've had a look um, we're in the truck with the wheat in the back got our responsibility we've got the cover on so the wheat doesn't fly all over the place on the way there and uh, we're heading down to we had a quick look there at the uh, the prices and the mill seems to be the place to go I'll tell you what but this whole truck goes alright look at that we're kicking along quite nicely at almost 70. Well, we got up to almost 70 there for a minute. Now we'll have to have a bit of a pan of the horizon here and see if we can find the um, find the mill. We've tagged it, so we should be able to um, hopefully see it. What's that big yellow thing over there? That's not it. it should be green, I think, not yellow. Well, there we go, up there about, yeah, straight ahead to the right, straight ahead to the right. Thought that yellow thing was the mark, but yeah, I do remember they're green. So here we go to the mill, let's drop off our first load of, um, sort of a little bit out of date wheat, but hopefully they won't notice. And this might get us a little bit of money because currently we, uh, I think we're in the negative. Oh. Look at that, took the wrong turn. There it is down there. That's okay, but we can turn around. So we'll turn around and um, drop this off and see how we go. Off with the cover. Beautiful. Hope we get some good dough out of this. It's more or less 
Well, I wouldn't go as far as saying it was free, but yeah, it may as well be included as sort of type of free money. As I didn't know it was there. I was staying away from the silo. Didn't want anything to do with it. Looks a bit decrepit to me. It like it's going to fall down. There's about, um, what's that, 10,000 bucks or something, so that'll be a huge help. be able to maybe get some of the locals to help me out with some of the work, I won't have to do it all myself. Said I'm naturally lazy. It's that one mate, it's that one. Yeah, well, looks like he was a bit lost there. So we're heading back to the farm and we'll see what else. I think we had a look through and we've got some barley we can sell so we may as well get rid of that so we don't have any chickens or anything. Pigs and chickens will take barley. Not sure about horses. Gee, she's like, oh, look at that, there's a hundred. We've cracked a ton. You beauty, down the home straight, doing a hundred. This equipment that I've been left here, it all looks old and that, but between this and the tractor, this, these. these tools are fantastic, just goes to show you don't need the latest greatest so here we go with the barley so once again we'll have a quick look at the ready reckoner and see where the good price for the barley is Looks like we're off to the mill, which is a good thing, because we know where that is. See if we can get this guy before the turn off. Come on, old truck, let's go. Go easy. I think he's a Volvo driver. So yeah, fucking knows, eh? Sort of worked out. We all know it now, but so it was um quite funny. I got to meet a few of the locals. I can't tell you who any of them were. Early in the piece, I remembered. I should have wrote some of the names down, but yeah, by the time I left, I yeah, was lucky to find the tractor. I think they might have helped me onto it actually. But we got home, we've got a tip on the silo, and we're selling our stuff, so it's all great. We come down into the mill again, look at that. Comes in the wrong way for a second time in a row. It's like a bit of a, oops, I did it again type scenario. See the uh, responsible driver with the cover on soon went out the window. That didn't last long. over 20,000 we'll pay for a couple of things just have to figure out how to spend it I did say that um, greenhouses the general consensus was um, the den of iniquity was that greenhouses are good because of the weather patterns you can grow stuff all year round which I suppose is helpful sell your produce and then you can live on on the rest, you know, you 
hopefully you can not have to buy too much produce because obviously being a farmer you, once we get going we could get all the stuff we need to well, make nice meals live quite comfortably so yeah greenhouse they might be the next thing on the agenda and animals I said animals were a good money spinner after they sort of you know, acted like cows and snorted like pigs and then I sort of got the cluck like chickens I got the hang of what they were on about they're quite hilarious actually the more vodka they have the funnier they get I suppose that's like anybody I think I was funny I don't know you'd have to ask them take your phone with your butt so you can understand their response so this time I think we've got eights so we're going to have a look and a bit of luck it's the mill so we don't get lost So the prices on each different item are going up a little bit each time too, which is good. Expect to get the most money for the sunflower and then, well, maybe even the soy should pay well. So that'll be good. Gotta love this truck, it flies, even with, oh, well, no, it's not a full load, it's not even a half load, but uphill, 87. What a beauty. Oh, look out, here we go. Come on, mate. Alright, here we go again. Might be third time lucky here, we might have taken the right approach road. That'd be nice. Once again, the cover's gone out the window, so we're leaving our <laughs> oats all the way from sowing our wild oats, so to speak. Well, not, don't know about sowing it, but we're spreading it all over the countryside. at that time 14 looks like about 14,000 so that's a, that's a good result that's a little bit up the first one was 10 so they're going up gradually I think it might have been 10 12 14 so hopefully the next one will go up again now I'm going to continue doing this and um, I'll catch up with this when we're doing something